Welcome back to The Color of STEM. Topper Carew, whose name might sound familiar to you, he's a man of many talents. He was the creator and producer of the television series Martin. He won more than 40 film and TV awards, including four NAACP Image Awards and a People's Choice Award. But right now, he's repping HBCUs in the world of STEM and opening that world to young STEM stars. Topper Carew, an MIT research scholar and founder of the Innovations Media Labs, where he collaborates with a number of HBCUs across the country. Many may know him as the award-winning Hollywood producer and creator of the television series Martin. He returns to his STEM roots and talks about the technology production issue in America and the importance of African-American intellectual capital that could answer the call. There's a major productivity problem in this country. Um, the technology industry has been highly reliant on uh, foreign intellectual capital. China and India are building technology empires and they're calling their people home. So there's going to be a, a, a major intellectual drain runoff, man. African American intellectual capital become very, very important to the future productivity and competitiveness of this country. And so one of the reasons I wanted to join uh, the Media Lab with the HBCUs is because we have a tremendous amount of knowledge here that's very forward thinking. And we decided we should share that with some of the HBCUs in, inter in the interest of making them more competitive and uh, causing uh, a revitalization of that invention and innovation space. Forget the fact that, you know, there is this racial divide. You know, it's not just a racial divide, it is a technology divide that's about to occur. And you need, those companies need to reach where they can, man, to get great workers. And you know, you know how the HBCUs are, man. 16, 17% of the black doctors come from that 100 schools. You know, 26% uh, of the women in STEM come from Spelman College. We see those stars, we know those stars. You know, we, we've been touched and, and, and we've embraced those Morehouse and those Howard and those Spelman and Hampton, you know, Morgan, go on. So uh, it would be a wise, wise decision and on the part of those big tech companies to recognize that not only do they have a need but this is a fairly rambunctious and tenacious and audacious you know population that is going to hit some some home runs one of those home runs was hit by the 2014 mega deal done by famed rapper Dr. Dre, AKA Andre Young, when Apple bought Dre's and Jimmy Iovine's Beats Music for a cool $3 billion. That deal secured Dre the top spot on Forbes' highest paid musicians list for 2014. Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine then donated $70 million to the University of Southern California to create the Iovine Young Academy, focusing on the arts, entrepreneurship, technology, design, and marketability. The mission is to create a new generation of inspired innovators. The Dre thing has another deep impl impl implication. It's not just the fact that he sold a company for $3 billion. He has first call on all of the IPs that come out of that center. So this young brother is thinking long, far, and he is a major contributor to the future of American productivity and competitiveness. So we need to view ourselves as being, um, you know, extraordinary, capable, and as we enter the space, it's not just about us being in the background room of Verizon. It's also about us being in the front room of industry. The mindset right now believes that we don't belong in this space. Okay, we gotta change that. I'm absolutely convinced that we will see a sister out of Spelman will be a Zuckerberg, and that we will see a brother out of Howard, you know, that will be a Bill Gates. I'm convinced of this, man. The reason I'm convinced that we will achieve a measure of greatness in having major impact on this whole technology game, man. It's because of what I see as the history of 
black people in America. It's cultural audacity, it's creative bodacity, it's human capacity, it's political tenacity, and it's spiritual veracity. Now you can apply that to any sect of your life, man. You'll know where you are at any point in time. We'll be back in a moment.